，拜拜。Okay, if you haven't watched the Manila Coffee Festival Brudol, click here first before you watch this episode. Yeah. Okay, so in the last couple of videos, I showed you my Manila Coffee Festival Brudol, right? And one of my purchases was this. The Suji Wave Dripper 155. Okay. Suji is an Indonesian brand. It's, it's an Indonesian coffee brand. Um, they make great coffee products too. So, um, I got this from Integrate Coffee for only 600 pesos. And it's a limited edition color. So for today's episode, we are going to open the Suji Wave Dripper 155. Chihiro. <laughs> yeah, Chihiro. Okay, so when you open the box, um, it says here that you need a Suji Wave Paper Filter 155. Okay, and here is the dripper. Wow, it's really nice, no? The color is really nice. And it's a limited edition. Okay, I think this is one of the... I think this is going to be my smallest dripper up to date. Yeah, because the next... The next smaller dripper that I have is the Oreya and the Time More, which is a lot bigger than this. Okay, I need to show you. So... I need to show you so that you have a comparison. Here is the Oreya, side by side. Yes. There. Okay. And here is a normal V60, which is a lot bigger again and even the even the opening is bigger before we try and do some comparison videos with the suji um, dripper i want to play with it first but today we're gonna brew some coffee with it there is some literature in the box um i want to read it all read it to you first. Suji Wave Dripper Chihiro is a flat-bottomed coffee dripper designed to produce sweeter coffee flavor and thicker texture. This dripper has a single 9mm sized hole with three supports in the middle to allow for faster water flow and achieve an ideal extraction rate. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna prepare our beans. Um, we're gonna weigh 13 grams. Uh, so for today's coffee, we're gonna use Sicho Belis um, Washed Arabica from Escolta Coffee Company. Okay, we're gonna weigh 13 grams. We're gonna do um, 18 clicks on the Comandante. grams of coffee and then we're gonna do two pours
Our water is 94 degrees Celsius. Okay, so for first pour, I did 45 ml and then I did an aggressive shake on the dripper. After 60 seconds, we're gonna pour the rest of the water up to 200 ml. So if you're asking, if you're wondering why I concentrated all my pores at the center, um, well, it's a flat bottom dripper. So when you pour at the center, yeah, so the water moves, the water moves like that and it pushes all the coffee grounds around. So it, <laughs> the whole coffee bed tumbles. So with flat bottom drippers, even just by pouring at the center, you get um, ample agitation depending on your flow rate. So if you pour really fast, and so if you pour really fast, you create agitation, even if you're just pouring at the center. But if you pour um, slowly, and then even just by pouring at the center, you create minimal agitation. Right. So, we're gonna taste the coffee. So, the description on the literature inside the box is right. Um, the brew... The brew that this actually makes is <laughs> really on the sweeter and bitter side of the spectrum so on one hand you have the sweet and bitter they go hand in hand there and then on the other side you get the sour and acidic so you create a diagonal line and you find your balance there yes um my 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 brew right now is is um, not right okay um, I might need to adjust something um, I might need to go a lot coarser so that so that I get the balance of it and just pour really slow like minimal agitation because right now I feel like it's over extracted I'm not sure but I feel like it's over extracted because I'm getting a lot of the harsh bitterness out of the coffee. And the Sicho Belis doesn't taste like that. Sicho Belis is like lemony with like very sweet um, aftertaste, like molasses. Um, yeah, it doesn't taste like this. This, um, I think this is wrong. So I might have to play with it because it's the first time I'm using it I still have to play with the dripper maybe change my my pouring method or pouring technique but I think it's an amazing dripper because obviously um, it has flexibility you're not limited to what it can do right and it's a small dripper, so I really like it because it's very cute. <laughs> Priorities, right? So, for now, thank you so much for joining me with this um, unboxing of the Suji Wave Dripper. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!